Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're doing another Android 101 post on how to get new apps on your Android device. Okay, so you got your new Android device and you heard about all these things called apps. Just like with the iPhone, Android has an app store. So what you need to do in order to get new apps, you need to go into that app store and search for apps and then download them and install them. So we're going to show you how to do that real quick. Simply click on the market. I have mine on my home screen, but normally yours would be in here. And it's in alphabetical order, so M market. And this is gonna open up your Android market. Now these are the featured things, these are things that Google thinks is good and for whatever reason is putting up here. Um, you can click on apps, games, or sometimes you'll have a carrier store, which means it's uh, apps specific to your carrier. Since I'm using T-Mobile, I have a T-Mobile store, you might have a Verizon, Sprint, etc. So we're gonna click on apps because we're gonna look for an app today. And now you're presented with a bunch of categories. So you can decide what category it is uh, that you're looking for. So let's do maybe a live wallpaper app. Okay, and you can sort by, these are the top paid up at the top. We also have the top free. and just in so this would be like the ones that are just coming out okay so let's say we're gonna look at top free and we're gonna go with the first one or one of the thunderstorm one okay so we're gonna click on that and now you have all this information here you can click this is the beginning of the description if you click more it opens up the full description so you can read everything about it uh, and then also recent changes will show up right beneath that after that, you can see the version it is, how many people have downloaded it. So over 250,000 people have downloaded that. Uh, 40,000 of them, 41,000 almost, have left ratings. Some screenshots. If you scroll down, you can see reviews. These are what people uh, put. They're basically comments, and they also give a, uh, a star count for whatever they think is appropriate for that app. You can also go to Related, which will show you other apps that are similar. And even further down, you can get in contact with the uh, developer or flag the content as inappropriate, say it's spam or it's not a good app, whatever. So, to install it, we're gonna click up here at the top, the free button. Now normally if this was a paid app, that would say purchase and you would just click it. But now we're gonna click okay to accept it. And you'll see up here at the top now, we have a little downloading symbol. So if I pull this down, you can see we're downloading the app itself. And we're waiting for that to download. And once it's done downloading, it's gonna show you that it's installing. So we can't open it yet until it says that. Successfully installed. We're gonna click on that. And that'll open the app. Now this is a live wallpaper, so it's not an actual app to open. Uh, it's a wallpaper that I'm gonna set on my background. But any other app, you would tap that, it would just open this as an app. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you also, if you want to get an app in a different way, you don't want to search for it like this where you're searching through endless, endless amounts of apps, you might know the name of the app. So you tap this little search button up here at the top um, and you can type in whatever you want. So let's say I want Skype. Now you would type that in. It had it there because it's my, uh, my history of what I've typed in before. And then there we go. I now have Skype. I can click on it. Free. Okay, it's gonna be downloaded. We got the symbol up here again. And it's the same concept as before. Now you don't have to watch that like I was doing before. You can just sit home and wait for that to finish. Okay, now let's say you have an app that you don't want anymore. We're gonna show you how to get rid of it. Now you can go into the market. There's two ways to do it. You can go into the market here, hit the menu button, hit my apps, and this shows you all of the apps that you have downloaded in the past. Um, if it says installed, it means it's actually installed in your device. You would just click on it and then click the uninstall button. Now the best way though to uninstall apps is actually not through the market, it's through the menu on the device itself uh, in the settings, simply because if you didn't download something from the market, you can't delete it from the market app. Um, so let's go manage apps. Uh, this That menu is also available if you go menu, settings, applications, manage applications and here's all the ones that we've downloaded here's all of the ones we have on the device ones on the storage um, if they have take up a lot of memory you usually put them on the storage and the ones that are currently running 
So, downloaded, we're gonna look for that Thunderbolt thing we just downloaded. There it is, Thunderstorm. And let's say we don't want it anymore. We're going to hit uninstall, click OK, click OK, and now it's gone. So that's it, that's how to uh, download and install apps and also how to remove them. So go into the market and uh, find as many apps as you can and use which ones you like and delete which ones you don't. Enjoy.